For my short film documentary, I have chosen the topic of fashion and identity. Fashion and identity are two ideologies that go hand in hand. What pieces of fabric you wear to cover your body actually has a massive influence on how people will view you in society. In the UK, there is a massive culture built around fashion. High-end fashion has almost become a way of showing cultural capital in the modern world. But the following for high-end fashion brands isn't something that is specific to the upper classes. Working class people are also following these high-end fashion brands and being in possession of these high-end fashion brands holds incredible importance in a person's social and cultural capital. What you wear, how you wear it, what brands you have on and what colours you wear all form this identity of who you are as a person. For this film, I decided to follow Goffman's dramaturgical model of life. According to Goffman, social interactions may be likened to theatre and people in everyday life to actors on a stage, each playing a variety of roles. So how does this link to fashion? Following Goffman's dramaturgical model of life, people being actors on a stage use clothing as almost as a prop. The fabrics that people wear can help them present themselves in the way that they want to be presented. Appearance functions to portray to the audience a performer's social statuses. Appearance also tells us of the individual's temporary social state or role, for example, whether he's engaging in work, informal recreation or a formal social activity. Here, dress and props serve to communicate things that have socially described meanings like gender, status, occupation, age and personal commitments. While researching the topic of this documentary, I started focusing heavily on the style of filming that I wanted to take on. I think it's incredibly important for me to create an aesthetic throughout my documentary. Being a student in Bristol gives me an incredible opportunity to capture the exact aesthetic for fashion and identity. Bristol has a massive student population with two big universities either side of the city. This means that the importance of fashion among students alone is clear to see. So I think capturing scenes of Gloucester Road, Stokes Park, Park Street and White Ladies Road will help me capture exactly what I need for the documentary. Also while conducting this research, I also found a video on YouTube titled Colette Wardens, They're Not Just Clothes, How These Pieces of Fabric Influence Your Identity. This was a talk that took place in front of a large crowd. She goes on to talk about the importance of fabrics for your image. What I found interesting in her talk was her use of pictures of the same person in two different outfits. She explains to the crowd how the opinion people had on the same person wearing two different outfits differed depending on what they wore. For example, the same person with a much cleaner, more sophisticated look was deemed to be successful and trustworthy. But when they were wearing an outfit that was a bit messier and not as well fitted, they were deemed to be lazy, untrustworthy and a bit dodgy. This was the same person, just in two different outfits, proving the fact that what you wear really does say a lot about you. I aim to take this idea and use it with my interviewees. I will ask them to make assumptions on people based on what they are wearing. My documentary will mainly consist of one-on-one -on -one interviews with students. In this interview, I will ask a series of questions that will help display a clear narrative, while also bringing in other components to the interview. I have also taken inspiration from YouTube fashion show PAQ. PAQ was a show on YouTube created by Kyra TV. They took part in fashion related challenges and many of the challenges included shopping and creating outfits on a budget. This is something that I'm looking to do when interviewing the students. Maybe asking them to put, on, put together their least expensive outfit and then their most expensive outfits in order to compare and show how outfits on different budgets can still allow them to look stylish and rich in cultural capital. So how is my film going to be unique? While filming this documentary, I'm aiming to take a unique approach to display the message I need. By taking inspiration from Colette Worden and PAQ means I'll be asking interviewees to participate in two different segments. This will ultimately give me that PAQ style video, making it more fun for my interviewees and me to film. I aim to get an even deeper insight into the world of fashion and identity through the eyes of people heavily involved in it. While filming a documentary, one of the things that must be considered is ethical issues. I'll be using students and young adults for interviews and for participation. So how can I make sure that I'm following the rules? Consent is the most important thing in this documentary. My documentary has to be completely over and my interviewees have to agree to what's being filmed and how it's being filmed. This is a documentary that is going to be uploaded on YouTube for public access. So this means there is no way that I can allow my documentary to consist of conversations and findings that other people did not agree to, since these are people who own businesses and or are students in fashion at UE. I have to be careful how I portray them as they are representing either their business or their university. If people do not want their face shown on camera, then it's important that I allow them the options to have their faces blurred out. I should also offer them the option of not having their names displayed if they wish not to.
I also need to make sure that while filming, everyone is following the government guidelines concerning COVID-19. It's important that me and my interviewee stay safe and keep others around us safe.